Section 9.9 .9, Real Solutions Exhibit Deviations from Raoult's Law. If A and B are miscible and form a real or ideal solution at constant temperature and pressure, we know the change of the Gibbs energy is negative. And therefore, delta H is less than T delta S because Gibbs energy is used to determine the natural direction at constant temperature and pressure. If they form an ideal solution, that means the mixing is spontaneous, delta G is less than zero. If A and B are immiscible, such as oil and water at the room temperature and one, under one bar pressure, that means the Gibbs energy change of mixing water and oil is positive. That's why they do not mix. In this case, delta H is greater than uh, T delta S. So this statement who true for real and ideal solutions. Uh, for non-ideal solutions, we can tell this delta V mixing is different from zero. When you mix water and ethanol, uh, the volume decreases. And also, this delta H mixing is non-zero. It can be positive, it can be negative. Delta mu U mixing also can be positive or negative. So when delta U is positive, that means um, uh, this uh, A B components just do not like each other. The attraction between A and B is smaller than the attraction between A and, B, A and A, and it's also smaller than the attraction between B and B. And then you have a lower boiling point. Uh, what if the AB attraction is greater than AA and AB? Well, that stabilizes the uh, liquid phase. Then delta U is less than zero, delta H is less than zero, and also you observe a higher boiling point. Well, that's called a maximum azeotrope. All right, so uh, let's uh, look at another new concept. It's called a partial molar volume. Uh, what does that mean? If you have a pure liquid, the partial molar volume is the molar volume. What if you have a mixture? Well, then well, it, it's, uh, it's different. So when you mix one milliliter of water and one milliliter of ethanol, you're not going to get two milliliters. You're going to get one point, maybe nine, two milliliters. So what's going on? Uh, how can we tell, you know, what's now... Um, the, uh, what's the volume of water, what's the volume of ethanol in this uh, solution. So we'll have to resort to this concept, it's just delta V over delta N under constant temperature and pressure condition. And you have to hold you know, the other variables constant. So how can we determine the partial molar volume of a water ethanol mixture? Uh, here it is, you mix one mole of water and one mole of uh, ethanol together, measure its volume, all right? And then you add 0 0.0000000001 more of water in this solution, all right? I said eight zeros. And then you measure the change of the volume divided by 0 0.0000000 more of water, you get the partial molar volume of water. All right, so uh, now this volume depends on the temperature, it depends on the pressure, it depends on, well, the number of moles of water and the ethanol in the solution, of course, uh, but given the constant temperature and condition, it's easy to do. We have this equation, and this is why in the numerical example I told you, you can just uh, change the number of moles of water slightly and measure the volume change.